Having liberated the hourglass, I become keeper of time. I was free to craft a new era of peace. As long as I've known you, you've dreamed of leaving Fengjian. Is it so wrong to want some excitement? I'm doing great. The event's going great. Mexico City is awesome as always. And uh, glad you're here. Let's, let's, let's get to it. The cameos are uh, different characters that are more classic spins on some of the more well-known characters, such as Jax and Sonya and Kano. You'll see them in there in, in more of their early iterations. Uh, from the game, but you, you end up partnering up with them and going into a fight, and they all have different moves and different abilities. You'll also see them during the uh, fatalities. You'll see them during the, uh, uh, you know, the super moves that you end up performing in game as well. And it really does supply like infinite possibilities almost of how you can change this up. That you could say take Lee May and you can partner up with Jax and. You might not like how that feels, so you go, no, I'm going to go with Kano, you know, and, and oh, I like the Kano. Uh, or Mataro, who has come back after a very long absence in our, in our, in our game. But, uh, it, yeah, it's a, it's, it, it really is a, a great evolution off the variation system that we had in MK11. And this is just that, you know, really put on steroids. And it's such a blast. I lose so much time just going into practice mode and picking different uh, different cameo partners to go in and try different things with and see how I can extend combos or, or you know, get more defensive in certain ways. And perfect match for the video you talk about. Well, I don't think there's a bad match, but for me, my favorite character that I love playing is Lee Mei. Uh, Lee Mei's fight style is just so fluid and effortless and beautiful on screen to watch. So as fun as it is to just absolutely pound your opponent. It's also, it has an elegance to it that is just so satisfying to, to beat them up in, in, in that kind of, you know, just just agile and, and smooth way. Uh, so for me, it's, it's you know, Lee May partnered with just about anybody against just about anybody. Again, I, I think all the characters are, are amazing. There isn't a bad matchup in the game, really. Well, I do think it's the whole, you know, I mean, the whole game is, is there, you know. Um, I, I think just about every team within NetherRealm, uh, you know, has something that they can hang their hat on. I think our cinematics team and, and our animation teams have done an incredible job with story mode. Um, I, I think our art teams, our character teams, and, and environment teams, I, I, I'm, I'm no surprise, this is easily the best looking game you know, from just a fidelity in our direction standpoint that we've ever put out. And those teams have done amazingly well. When I picked up the controller for the first time and, and played a character, I said, okay, design has thoroughly kicked ass on this thing. So I don't think that, and, and I mean, our, our audio team is actually an award-winning audio team. And they did it again, and I was playing on my, you know, Dolby Atmos system at home. I was just blown away with how, you know, amazing it sounded. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't think there's, yeah, I don't think, yeah, it's right out there, you can hear it. Uh, yeah, so I don't think there's, I don't, I don't think there's, uh, you know, pretty much all of it. I mean, being able to get it done, get it out, get it in front of fans, uh, that's just huge for us. Not anything specifically that you would see on disc or see on screen, um, but, you know, my time in the, in the U.S. Army is, is one that I cherish, hold very near and dear to my heart. It's where I really understood what discipline really looks like and what hard work looks like, and I got to explore where my limits really are. I thought, I think I know where they are. I really found out where they were. So bringing that kind of work ethic and, and energy and motor to the team, um, you know, I'm always proud of that. I'm always proud of the, the effort that I put forward, uh, you know, and, and you know, just bring it, just bring it out. I always say I idle at about 75 miles an hour. So, you know, I get into the studio and I'm like, hey, do you know we make games for a living? How lucky are we? All right, let's get to work. Let's go. You know, so it's, it's you know, high speed, low drag, locked, cocked, and ready to rock. Let's go. Uh, so, yeah, bringing just, the, just that work ethic and discipline, you know, uh, I think that I, I hope the, the team benefits from that. I know I certainly do. Ha, ha, ha.